Hey guys, so this is episode 29, Football Manager 20. Uh, by the time you see this, the news will be old, but I'm recording this on Thursday the 24th, and uh, the news just came out from Miles today that the release date for FM21 is going to be November 24th. I've already purchased it, so it's already in the queue to install. Naturally, the uh, pre-release version comes out about two weeks early, so November 10th, somewhere thereabouts. So only, only a couple of weeks late uh, with everything going on. So kudos to Miles and company for uh, you know staying on top of things and working remotely, uh, getting you know continuing to work on the game and. Um, you know, doing distance coding and everything else. Great job. Of course, I don't think we as uh, football manager fans uh, expected anything else from them. I uh, <laughs> I just rendered the uh, episode for the season finale. So episode 27, the last matches of last season. And I hadn't recorded in a few days and I have now relived the uh, penalty shootout. If you didn't see that, go back and check it out. Brutal, brutal. Just gut-wrenching for me. Uh, but we are back in the championship for another year. Taking a look at our friendlies, uh, we beat uh, Grimsby 3-1. You'll see some familiar names in here. Harvey White with a hat trick. A 2-2... Draw that we won on penalties against AGF and Leighton Stewart with an early goal. Aaron Collins with a late equalizer to put it to penalties. We did lose to Shakhtar in the Friendly Cup final the next day, uh, which we talked about. We talked about that in the transfer special. Uh, 2 1 friendly win over West, uh, lost to West Brom. No, it went over West Brom. Uh, Harvey White with a brace and Odane, Odane Henry sent off in the 81st minute uh, on a penalty on Harry Wilson, which he scored. Uh, a 1-1 draw with Stoke. So, you know, we're playing pretty well against some teams, uh, you know, in our area. Harvey White with another goal, another sending off, straight red for Harvey Elliott. And then uh, Brinscom and Thrupp, we uh, drubbed 11-0. And uh, Ida with four goals, Harvey White with a hat trick, uh, Rawson, Aaron Collins, Craig Mitchell all with goals, and an own goal from Ross Cook. They had a player sent off in the 34th minute. So we are into competition today. Stoke and Coventry in the Carabao Cup first round. Taking a look just to recapture those transfers. Uh, we have made another loan offer to the end of next season for Harvey White. Uh, we are hoping that uh, uh, they take it. We'll see. Mark Allen, we have a staff offer out for technical director, waiting on him. And transfer history. So uh, since the end of last season, uh, you can see the loans out. We did sell Liam Kitching. Egan Riley got sold for a good chunk of money. It's funny, I never heard of him. And then uh, in my solo save, you guys may have seen I put an episode, uh, just a short clip up on my solo save the other day. Uh, we had an invincible season. And uh, after that, I just signed him because he got released by Man City again. Uh, so... Uh, we'll see how that goes in my in my private save, but uh, 1.4 million, 74,000 for Josh Marsh. Rishi goes for up to 400,000. Uh, Inabakari goes for another 1.4, and Tite goes for 135,000. So 3.7 on the outgo. Uh, Craig Mitchell, we just saw him on the tally sheet, comes in from Derry City for 350. We've got quite a few guys coming in on freeze. Harvey Elliott on a loan. Daniel Hart set us back 1.3 million, so that is our big acquisition there. Uh, right winger, very, very pacey, uh, has yet to make his debut. Uh, and then uh, Carmine Starantino, I ought to rename him to Quentin Tarantino, but uh, he cost us 275000 So 1.9 on the outgo, 1.3 on one player. So a good net profit of $1.8 million. If we go into the match, 
match preview and we are underdogs to stoke oh you know what we need to jump in here championship season preview so we are picked to go down again in relegation at 65 to 1 23rd along with crew who's recently promoted and luton town qpr and millwall the other two recently promoted teams are projected to stay up Crystal Palace, West Brom, and Brentford have come down from the premiere. So Brentford's back where they belong. West Brom is too, uh, as is Crystal Palace. Uh, <laughs> I have no problem with any of those three. And uh, Watford uh, will is picked to be at the top of the table along with Fulham. Oh, my goodness. We should be in the Premier League. I really, truly believe if we had not had a red card. All right, let's go ahead and pick our team out. All right, so we're going to have Ida up top. Uh, Ida, of course, uh, had a great season last year for us. 17 goals in 44 league starts, 7.07 .07 rating. Even a man down, he had a hat trick in the, in the uh, penultimate match last year. Oh, just We just fell short. Uh, Collins on the left side. Aaron Collins, of course, uh, he's been a stalwart of the save. We are bringing in uh, Daniel Hart. He's our newcomer on the right wing, so he'll be making his debut today. Uh, White, back in midfield. We got him on loan for this season, trying to get him for next season. Uh, Joe Morrell, and he was, a, a, he was on loan with us last season from Bristol City, and uh, then we picked him up on a free this year. Played pretty well for us. And uh, as I mentioned in the transfer special, I forgot he had been with us. Uh, Kiko will be our defensive midfielder. He comes on a free from Portugal, so he'll be making his debut. Uh, and if we take a look at him, I, I think he's just a big upgrade uh, in that defensive mid slot. Uh, then we'll have Wharton, McGinley, Rawson, and Shepard across the back line. Palmer in goal, and then Akinola, newcomer Mitchell, Stewart. Uh, he's, he's that young English kid, isn't he? Yeah, 19-year-old English kid. Uh, so he is going to be uh, on the bench. Mirez, Bennett, and Hunter also on the bench. Uh, let's see. We actually have one player trained, and that's a uh, homegrown club. That's uh, Harvey White. He's played with us enough to be considered homegrown at the club. So that's nice. We've got that slot filled. So no more of the uh, annoying notices that we're one sub short. And you notice we uh, only have two loan players. I have not gone heavy on loans this year. Uh, Nico Williams will be a regular starter at right back, but he is serving a suspension dating back to last season. But he is back and Harvey Elliott is injured, and he'll be coming back into training here. So you might see him in the cup. We'll see. But let's get to the match. We do have a number to give, and he'll take the number seven. I always auto number. I just think that's the right way to go, and it's kind of like letting the player pick his number. So we go with that. Oh, man, will we have some hangover from last season? All right. Bursic comes out and makes that save for Stoke. That's a heck of a throw, almost to the midline. Ooh. That was a kind of dicey-looking uh, layout for a tackle there. Clark steps over, gets it. Oh, what a save by Palmer. Is that, uh, is that Jack Clark? It is Jack Clark. from. Uh, oh, he's out on loan from Tottenham for the second year in a row. Okay. Interesting. Jack Clark, uh, of course, came up with uh, Leeds. And uh, he looked like he was going to be really, really good. And then he had an unfortunate uh, collapse during a match and uh, elevated heart rate and all kind of weird stuff. And uh, he was shelved for a while recovering from that. 
and um, never really reform. Oh, what a tap in! Ida gets on the score sheet with our first goal of the season as he crashes the net and gets a toe to push it across the line. There was a scramble there in the box, and he was just – he didn't trim his toenail this morning, I guess. Uh, but anyway, uh, Clark was in it. We ended up selling him for, I think, $8 million, 8 million pounds, and uh, looked pretty good. Uh you know, but he he hasn't really caught on at Tottenham yet, and I really hope uh, I really hope he finds his footing. I really do. He had a lot of pace, and I think uh, a lot of potential. So hopefully he can find that. All right, this is not good. Oh, knocked away, Morell. Oh, over the top. Ida's running onto it. He beats his man, and he's got a brace. That is brilliant. Let's go ahead and call a sub off here. Daniel Hart is struggling today. Uh, let's bring on... Um, I don't want White. I don't... Uh, can we bring Kiko up? Not really. Damn, I don't have anybody there. Yeah, I don't have anybody there. All right, tell you what. Let's bring on... Uh, Let's give Craig Mitchell his debut. He can play on the left side. Let's bring Ashley Hunter on on the right side. Ida with a great first game of the season. I want to go in and make another tactical tweak here in a minute. Something I started doing when we had a lead last year. Ida's over the top. Oh, and he just can't quite get it in. All right, in transition, let's have the keeper slow the pace down, and let's regroup off of a counter press. Flicked away, so we'll have a corner here. White. White is great at set pieces. There's a header away. They picked up an injury on uh, Tom Ince. I think, uh, didn't he play for Leeds too? Or am I imagining that? Must have been imagining that. I know I've heard his name before. Haven't had him on one of my clubs, I don't think. Pretty sure I haven't. Uh, let's see. Tunji Akinola. Rawson. I'm wondering if any of these guys can step up. You know, McGinley can pass. I'm going to move McGinley up for Kiko. Kiko up for Harvey White. And then Harvey White for Akinola. So we'll just do a little bit of a rotation. And actually, nah, he can play that. He can play that spot. I was thinking if he was better at halfback, we'd just make a true defender out of him. But I think we'll be all right. Five minutes of stoppage time. A little bit early for a highlight, so I'm a little stressed out. Oh, over the top. And Joe Allen, first goal of the season for Stoke. Man, that was not good. Let's not give it away here, boys. All right, we do hold on. I think we, we controlled the game. Possession-wise, shots. I'd like a few more on target. That is what it is. Uh, excellent efforts. And we will move on to the next match. So the transfer window closes in a week, so I've, it's going to take me a few minutes to get there uh, going day by day. We have uh, Kiko makes his debut. Ida. Oh, superb. Superb. Okay, we asked, uh, so Mark Allen signs, and Ashley Hunter. I actually have him listed, so this is not bad. So let me deal with this, and we will talk to you guys in just a minute for the next match. All right, well, Ashley Hunter, we have accepted a bid for him. Uh, 
he has not accepted it yet, but he, uh, we have accepted one from St. Mirren. We turned down the one from Wigan because they wanted uh, almost $100,000 of his salary picked up by us. St. Mirren was willing to pick up all his salary. So, you know, if I'm getting rid of a player, don't particularly want to pay his salary. Uh, our two uh, keepers that we have uh, listed – no interest. There's some rumblings that there might be some interest. We've asked them to secure a move if they can. Uh, I am going to possibly look to loan them out. In fact, let's do that while I'm thinking about it. So Lubzik, yeah, we'll offer him out on loan. And then Tia, we will offer him out on loan as well. Just to you know, expand our ability to maybe get somebody. Uh, we went back to Liverpool. We were looking at a couple of players, but they wanted a hundred percent of their salary, even though we're an affiliate. Not sure why that happens. I guess is if, if it's a player that you know might be in and around the first team. You know, maybe sniffing for some cup action or something. Uh, but if I remember correctly, Liverpool. Where's he at? Okay, those guys are not. But these guys are loan listed for loan here, these two. And they wanted salaries for them picked up too, not trial. What are you doing? They wanted us to pick up 60% of his salary. I mean, you know, if I could afford that, right? <laughs> and this guy, they want 100%. I'm going to offer zero since I am an affiliate just to see if they take it. They're not. But I'm not sure what causes that. But anyway, that's uh, what's going on in the transfer window. So we have accepted a bid for Hunter. Harvey White, they did uh, they did agree for next season uh, to extend the loan. Harvey has not accepted yet, but we'll see how that goes. All right, we're back for Coventry. And we've only played them twice. And you know what? Let's pick... Uh, let's pick a slight, slightly rotated squad, huh? So we'll put Adams on the field with Morrill and Kiko in the triangle. Uh, White will be on the bench. Uh, we'll have Hunter on the left, Elliot on the right. I'd, uh, actually, you know what? I want... Let's give Leighton Stewart the start. Uh, Leighton Stewart's a new arrival. He's 19 years old, and this will be his debut. He looks pretty good. He can. I mean, he's 5'11", but look at his jumping and heading. Uh, that's pretty stellar. I don't know that I've ever had a striker with a heading ability that high. Uh, Palmer. You know what? Let's give Lubjic a start, or Lujubic, and maybe that'll put him in the shop window. Maybe. And standard Nico Williams is back. We'll go with that. It's not a lot of changes, but, you know, a little bit. I still think some quality guys that have started for us in the past. And we'll see what we see. Ashley Hunter bruised his ankle. All right, so bruised ankle, that came on pretty quick. He should be able to play through that. Might tighten up on him at halftime. Here's Elliot into the box, headed, and Ebu Adams offsides. Was he? That looked a little harsh. And... And the ball came across when it was actually played back to him. He was not offsides. So not really happy about that. That was a poor delivery. Hunter picks it up. He's into the box. He takes a power shot. Goes off the keeper for another corner. Elliot looks near post. And they just cleared that one out. That was interesting. Let's get creative. All right, Nico Williams takes the throw. Outside. All right, there's Elliot. Elliot's into the box, and Hunter takes a power shot again and sets up another corner. That one's cleared out nicely. We'll have to make the run for it. 
they're playing a 442 so they're parking uh they're parking a bunch of people back in the box oh my god the keeper missed it Leighton Stewart is there and he gets his first goal of the season he will probably not have an easier goal in the rest of his career and the kid's only 19 years old but that is very good all right, we're going to probably sub Hunter off at halftime here. Oh, Keeper actually made a save there. That was a little lucky. They bring it in again. Good clearance. And I'm not sure what happened. No clue. Was there an offsides there possibly? All right, we're dominating possession. Uh, let's do that, that, and I do want to bring, let's go ahead and pull Hunter off. Wants to bring Collins on. I'm okay with that. Hello, Tink. Yeah, I just want that move to, you know, for his health. All right, let's demand more. I'm, I'm not really wanting creativity here. Uh, I, I want to put these guys away. Well, their guy, who's that? What's his name? Hawula? He actually beat two players there. Oh, come on. All right, sub time. Anybody playing? Nobody's playing bad. I'm going to pull Williams off. Um... Just to, just because of the yellow, uh, Brian Mieres, he's a new player as well, and he's pretty solid. Where did he come from? I don't remember, but we're going to bring him on. I believe that'll be a debut for him. Let's check that. Yep, this will be a debut for him, and we got him on a free from Chacarita, right? There you go. I'm calling that, and he is... Argentinian. Cool. Push forward. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Let's go up to positive. I can't believe I had that dialed back. And McGinley. We'll bring Wharton to the inside and then we can bring Shepard in on that other side. All right, Rawson. No, that, yeah, that was Rawson. He sends it high. And Shepard. Stewart. Uh, he was looking for a brace. Tell you what, he's looking dangerous in the air, is he not? 15 to 5 on shots, but only 4 on target. We're going to have to do better than that. I, um, I'm going to be assertive and tell them, uh, yeah, let's go with the complacency talk, I suppose. Well, we do have a little bit of business here. Hunter's got a bruised ankle, but he's not hurt long term. Two days. Stewart scores on his debut. And we have a loan offer for Tia. We're going to go ahead and accept that just to get... You know, really, I'd like to move him on. He's good enough to keep, but I don't need four keepers, and he's one of the two expendable ones, and I just want his salary off my off my books. Uh, Liverpool, all right, we'll cancel that, and they cancel. They rejected that one as well. That's too bad. Let's go ahead and finish the transfer window so we don't have to go through any new business. Janiel Bennett. I don't believe I have him. Oh, I do have him loan listed. So he is available. Please somebody sign him. All right. Hunter has accepted the offer from St. Mirren. So that's 575000 uh, Harvey White accepts the extension through next season. And Tia has gone out on loan for 100% of his salary. All right, well, let me look through these because I'm not sure I want to loan him out. But 
and they're not paying anything in his salary. So probably not going to take it. But I'll look at this and uh, we'll let you guys know what is happening. All right. Well, we have reached the transfer deadline. Uh, we have been the second most active club. Is that right? Let's see. This is, oh, this is payroll. So we are now second lowest in the championship. Uh, still a good chunk behind Rotherham and any club above us, but uh, making a little headway. We don't need to go up horrifically. And we were the most active, bringing in 16 players or moving 16 players. And we did make two more moves, two more moves that uh, were late in the day. Uh, Nicholas Tia does go out on loan. We just saw that. Ashley Hunter, we sold him. And we have signed two new players. So we spent $950,000 uh, to, to Slavia Prague for Oscar. Uh, he is a 24-year-old, and again, I can't read that, Liberian? I'm going to go with Liberia. I think that's what that flag is. So he can play basically any attacking mid or uh, attacking position on the field. Very, very good physically for the most part. Balance and jumping reach, not so much. But he's very good in his technicals. Definitely a playmaker type person. Uh, does have a good bit of flair, aggression, uh, pretty good vision, uh, but and determination's up there. So... He's going he's gonna to fill a role. This was just kind of a depth signing. We had some money to spend, and I could afford it. He's a true left footer, so I think he can fill a role for us. Don't know if he's going to start, but, I mean, he's played in World Cup qualifications, five goals and eight appearances, and uh, a 7.11 for Liberia. Uh, it was 24, seven goals and 24 caps. So not bad in the least. So we picked up an international player, and we also paid forty-five thousand to Saint Gallen for Alessandro Croci. I think that's the pronunciation. He is Swiss, and he has one under twenty-one cap for them. Three and a half star potential. Again, he's kind of a midfield, a multi-position player. So I'm looking at players. These are players that could fill multiple roles and do a lot of jobs for us. Uh, from one player. Uh, very good physicals, decision-making, determination, flair are solid. Uh, good, decent technique, again, good passer, good first touch, dribbling, and crossing. So he can fit either one of these uh, wingers, inside forward or a true winger on the right, and uh, any one of the three central mid with his passing ability and, uh, you know, decent vision. So I, I just like his ability to be some depth there. Don't know, you know, how much these guys will play. I don't believe either one will be starting eleven. But you know that you know we still are looking to inch the team just a little bit higher in in quality. If we take a look at the team report, uh, Oscar's going to slot in number five in the uh, striker spot. Uh, let's see. Trying to see where any of these other guys are. And they may not even be on the club yet because I don't think they've arrived officially. Uh, Lejubic, we were not able to find a home for. And Shepard, we offered out, we're not able to find a home for. I am going to remove him from both of these. Just, uh, you know, keep him from getting upset. But if I get a good offer, I think he's going to be gone. All right, well, we will be back. I'm going to play a little bit. Uh, let's get down to... Let's get down to maybe Cardiff and Preston. Uh, I do want to start kind of trying to power through seasons uh, to see if we can make it to the Premier League and, um, you know, what that may look like with Forest Green. Oh, also wanted to show you, we had the home game against Stoke, 6,808 uh, fans, 777 away, but that was still 66,000 and, and some change in, in attendance. Remember, our previous high was 5,012 because that was our max capacity. So nowhere near the uh, 12,000 that we're able to seat in our current uh, temporary facilities. 
but it is helping out. We are showing a profit uh, for the month thus far. It does help with the sales that we had, of course, but pretty decent gate receipts as well. So fingers crossed that we can make a profit here. And we're still well below $8 million on the payroll and $2.6 million on the transfer budget. I think what we want to do, and let me know in the comments if you know, I know there's something that if you have money left over, there's some kind of glitch where they cut, you know, the board will cut. So do we at some point go in and drop this to zero and maximize payroll out to, you know, 12, 13 million, whatever it would be, um, in order to have the board kind of think that we have spent all that money? Um, but let me know in the comments if that's uh, how that works. I know I've heard a couple of guys talk about it. But uh, I usually don't pay a lot of attention. The, bu the budget is what it is. But if there's a way we could finagle that to make sure we get a nice transfer budget uh, in January, that would be nice. All right, guys, we'll hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get your emails for daily updates. I have gone, just as a reminder, if you haven't noticed, I have gone to daily updates on Football Manager. And my secondary saves are going to be a little more sporadic. Uh, currently doing uh, Graveyard Keeper, but that's going to become my third save. Uh, but I do have a lot of people looking at that. Uh, a couple of people, at least. I say a lot of people. It's a lot for me. And um, also starting to do a Let's Play on Kingdoms of Amalur, the re-reckoning, re-release of that game. So uh, if you're interested in fantasy and RPG, check that out. But we will see you guys next time here on The Pitch. Have a good one. Bye.